Navy by dialogue. Captain Laws get the back. Better secure your meta mask. Legend now, no exit man. Passive income while you sleep. Compound interest making leaps. Stacking my paper, higher trees. No recession stopping me. Deep by dialogue, let's talk about it. Make a plan. Not your keys, not your coins, not your money. Understand. DeFi Dialogue. Hey, welcome back to the channel. First things first, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, I had a couple people saying that um, I talk about Drip a lot. What are some other plays that I'm in? So I think like once a week, I just give an update about some DeFi plays that I'm in outside of Drip. And um, hey, be warned, that's going to be some Degen plays. If you don't know what Degen means, that means degenerate. They are high, high risk, high reward. You could win it all. You could lose it all. They could disappear in a matter of a few seconds. So anyway, I give everybody a warning when I'm talking about those type of plays. And it just be a separate video outside of my regular, um, you know, drip D5 videos that I love doing. So anyway, let's go talk about Everest. I've been checking out the lobby. The lobby has less people putting in BNB um, over the last couple days. Let's see, since day 16, it went under 1,000 and has not been over um, 1,000 again for the total deposits of BNB. Yesterday, it actually ended at 328. And so right now, there's still 13 hours on this timer for day 21 and we have 60 people you know 60 deposits i should say in there so if you're not in it could be an opportunity but to be honest you know i don't know how long this is going to last no one can tell you that i'm still in it i'm still you know putting a little bit in every day because i'm just trying to keep up with the dilution because as as time progresses you're not going to get the same amount of reward um out if you don't continue to put in if you just stop putting in then after a while your rewards are kind of start pulling back some so anyway i got a lot of stakes um that i was able to collect as you guys see now i got you know all the ones in the green say collected that means i was able to um, pull out my bnb and what i did with the avc tokens is i just simply got back in up here let's say i got a thousand tokens that day i just came back put a thousand and then pick some days that I want to go for. I'm not going for very um, long days anymore. I have a strategy like seven to 10 days. I like that strategy because it gives me a time to, you know, I'm collecting tokens, collecting some BNB dividends. And I'm also, you know, being able to pull out the pool. I have a few long stakes that you see here. This was in the beginning. You know, I didn't have the same strategy I got now. So I do have a couple of long stakes. So, hey, hopefully the platform survives long enough that I can get these stakes back out. So we'll see how that goes. And I keep everybody, you know, up to date on that. Um, I talked about Lucky 7 way back, like one of my first videos. Man, this thing was all the rage. Everybody, all the YouTubers, you can type in Lucky 7 in the YouTube search. You'll see how many YouTubers were making um, videos about this. So... I like to come back every once in a while just to see how's it's how it's going, what's going on. So the same amount of tokens that I had on, uh, see right here it says one hundred and nine dollars. It's my portfolio value. This was like eighteen hundred dollars, no lie. I probably put like two hundred dollars in. If I woke up one day and it said it was valued at eighteen hundred, and things were going well, my payouts were like forty eight dollars, fifty dollars a day, somewhere around there. And this had a, a daily ROI that used to get rebases, several rebases a day. I forgot the frequency, but they had some exploit that it was that somehow people could get more or sell more tokens um, than they wanted to. So the developers just froze this and made this that they manually compound this for you daily. And to me, since that happened, the, the buzz left that it seems like it, it's been downhill from there. Hopefully this can recover and come back. I would love to wake up one day and they say $1,800 again. That was really nice. So Lucky 7, it seems like the team, the developers are good. It's just the bear market and they have been, you know, getting beat up. Hopefully, you know, they last, but it, how it looks right now, it looks like, hey, they may not. But 
we know a lot of things don't pan out after the beer market so anyway just wanted to give an update on this how um just be transparent and show you yeah you can have an eighteen hundred dollars account one day worth a hundred dollars the next day when you're in these type of dj plays so anyway i hope the lucky 17 you know can pull it off i was just um you know on youtube and, and some of the discords and all that and i heard somebody in one of the discords talk about this abax land so already someone this is what they did they have cloned or yeah pretty much cloned that avarice contract and made avax land so according to them they they said a lot of people got left out in everest so they wanted to give people an opportunity to get in on the ground floor and so this is what where it's at avaxland.net this is like everest except it's on the avax chain you need avalanche um c to get in B, to me this is highly risky this is a dj play to me i don't any, know anything about the team or the developers i don't i don't know anything about them so if you hear about this and get into it you gotta gotta remember it is a dj play enter at your own risk so I'm going to keep up with this just because I'm, I'm curious about it. And um, one of the homies that kind of do a lot of YouTube and other things has, you know, put a bug in my ear and like, hey, check, check this out. So I don't know if I'm going to go in it yet or not, but I will be watching from the sidelines. I'm going to get in their discord, Twitter and all that and just see how it's going. I'm, I'm curious to see does this have the same, you know, longevity of everest even though everest has not even been out a month yet so can this make it you know three or four weeks um in the bear market we'll see right so i'll keep you guys up to date on that as well another play that i'm in is a couple of miners so one of the miners that i'm in is this um b and b crops farmer it started off very good that in the very beginning of the contracts people got in the the contract balance had really got ran up pretty high and to me it's is a lot lower than i wanted to see it's at 1100 right now and the thing is with these miners if you do get in early i initially got in with just around this 1.4 bnb and through compound and i compounded it all the way up to 6.99 bnb and this is how much I've taken out so far, 1.02. So I almost ROI, you know, maybe my next withdrawal, I can actually ROI on this. And so right now I get the daily right here. It says my estimated, estimated daily yield is 0 0.0752. This has at one point was, I thought it was like maybe 0 0.13, 0 0.15, something it almost seemed like it was double the amount of what it is now. So this is the thing with these miners as the contract starts to drain and the dilution sets in, you start getting less back daily. So you have to compound this um, 10 times before you can withdraw. So it's not like you can come in here every day and just hit withdraw. It's one of the uh, kind of like rules that they set up. So, you know, the whales wouldn't come in here and you know put large amounts of money and then withdraw large amounts of money and wreck the contract so they did this to have some type of uh, sustainability um so far it's been running I, i'm assuming about a month maybe a little more than that but the same team has created multiple different farmers they have the busd the usdc which is on avax a phantom i'm in the phantom i'm in the usdc now i'm in all of them actually so i have a small position in all of these uh, farms they like i said what i i like that you know you can't wreck the contract because you do have to compound and before you know you have to compound 10 times before pulling your money out but it's definitely a love-hate relationship because if you forget to compound it's no auto compound feature so if you forget to compound this contract locks up after 48 hours so what happens is after your card is full here you won't earn any more tokens it'll just be sitting here frozen until you come in here and either hire more or just harvest and pull all of them out so yeah, that's what I got going on in some of these um, DJ and DeFi plays that I'm in. I seen one more that I want to talk about, so let's check it out. So over on the Phantom Network, it's um, a new like game. Kind of reminds me of um, some of the games that's been in the DeFi space. 
Uh, one was over there on Harmony, uh, DeFi Kingdoms. It's not the same feel, but to me, it's the same concept um, of it. You know, this, you have to have an NFT. It's actually, um, I, I think it's pretty cool. So you come in the manhole, and when you go in the manhole, you kind of see the decks. You actually use this. This is a swap, actually, the manhole is. So when you get in here, you can see right here, you can trade your USDC for the native token of Ooze. So you'll put, if you had $100, put it in there. And for $100, you'll see you can get 35 Ooze. So with the Ooze, after you get the Ooze, you now can purchase an, um, an NFT. So you pay uh, purchase an NFT in the sewer. And so you go to the, me, I'm in the order of slime. This is kind of like what I like. The auto ooze is kind of like people who really don't want to engage with the contract. And you go in here and um, you can mint you an NFT. And it tells you, I, I signed up under Crypto Kings. I, you know, crypto. shout out to Crypto Kings, man. I like him. I follow him. Uh, join his team. He gives good airdrops and uh, daily, daily rewards. I think it's... I think he said daily he's going to start doing some uh, some type of airdrops or something anyway you come in here and you i pick the order of slime it's the one that i'm in and when you pick the order of slime you now um can deposit your and uh, your money to actually get your nft and so right here you would say deposit and mint nft you need at least 10 ooze tokens so after you go to the manhole you come over here and then you, you're able to um, purchase your NFT out of the sewer. So if you go to the sewer and then go to your order of slime, you can see your NFT. And then right here, it kind of tells you how much you get paid a day, how much, you know, how much ooze I got deposited. Um, right now, see, I got 0.203 ooze that I've accrued. And then through here, this tells you through, you know, my XP, what I have, my strength, what I have. The speed what i have i put some xp and speed because see it says the daily or roi of one point this is um increased so i got one percent but if you boost up your speed you can get a max daily roi of a um, two percent so that's what i'm working on so yeah it's just an update of some DJ plays that's out there in the space you got to remember these other these plays like this are very high high risk high reward because you don't know the you know the longevity of it you don't know the dev team you don't know if this is going to go down so i always say enter these with caution you know not financial advice but definitely do your own research when it comes to these plays that have not been in a space you know all the the bright new shiny objects you know enter those with some caution so yeah that's been the video for today defi dialogue out Let's talk about it, make a plan